Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Brothers and sisters in Islam, I want to speak to you about Salat al-Maghrib during the month of Ramadan. Many people have made a habit that as soon as Adhan al-Maghrib is called, they sit down on the table, they break their fast, they continue to eat and eat and then drinks and then sweets. And then afterwards they get up, go to the bathroom, then make wudu and then they pray Salat al-Maghrib. By then, Allahu A'lam, perhaps Salat al-Maghrib time has ended and they don't know. So brothers and sisters in Islam, this message here is to encourage you all to take Salat al-Maghrib serious during the month of Ramadan. The Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was to break his fast on dates or water or whatever that is available. And then you rush to establishing Salat al-Maghrib. You pray Salat al-Maghrib, you, your family, whoever you're with, and then you may proceed to continuing your iftar and you can sit down and you will be at rest and at ease. Brothers and sisters in Islam, don't take this matter lightly. Salat al-Maghrib does not end at the time of Isha that is on our calendars today. Rather, Salat al-Maghrib ends in the Maghrib al-Shafaq al-Ahmar, when the redness of the sky disappears. And that could differ from country to country. Sometimes in certain countries, it could be 50 minutes from Adhan al-Maghrib until the end of Salat al-Maghrib. In other countries, it could be one hour, it could be one hour, 10 minutes, it depends. And the idea is, there are madhahib in Islam that were very strict concerning the time of Maghrib and how much time you have to pray it. For example, the famous opinion among the Malikis and the opinion among the Shafi'i madhahib is that Salat al-Maghrib is prayed in the time that it is enough for you to get up and make wudu, wear some clothing, face the Qibla, praying three rak'at, and then two rak'at sunnah after it, and that's it. That's under the, uh, the Shafi'iyya. So that's about 15 to 20 minutes they give for Salat al-Maghrib. So we need to be careful. And even if we look at the hadith of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he was taught the timings of the prayer by Jibreel, Jibreel Alayhi salam visited the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on two days. The first day, he led him in Salat for all the prayers at the beginning of their time. On the second day Jibreel came and he led the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the prayers, he led him and he prayed the prayers at the end of their time. At the end of their time. But for Salat al-Maghrib, on the two days, he prayed it on time, which is a proof for you and I that this is an urgent prayer that only has that time from when it makes adhan. It needs to be a rushed Salat. Unlike all the other prayers, there is time for you to pray them and offer them. So let's not fall into this mistake.